Hey, good afternoon. Hi. I don't hear that. Good afternoon. Oh, let's do a little better. Can I ask all of you together? Be on your feet. And I think that, you know, sometimes we are very eager to listen to when we have no energy. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to give you some of that bad negative energy from ourselves. So this is what we're going to do. Can you just bend down, take all the negative energy, and bring it up, and push into the person on your left. And once more, just bend down, get all the negative energy, and push it to the person on your right. And now, you tap on their shoulders and tell them how did you really mean it. You are great. You are great. Please take a seat. My name is Sindhu and I am from Singapore, born in I am from the southern, southern tip of India. It's called Kerala. But I have been living in Singapore for the past 20 years. And I have been consulting on business and innovation to companies as well as individuals. A few years earlier, I realized that it's really difficult. You know, it's more time consuming to change the mindset of others compared to children. And at the same time, I was thinking if I'm able to impart some of these skills and mindset to children when they are young, we can actually, actually achieve much more than one of the others who needs to. So, I have this education company called As Many Parts, which focuses on introducing more and more innovation into education. We have products, we have services, we have workshops for teachers, children, as well as for the community. So, today we are going to talk about you and the future of you. That reminds me of something. A few months back, I met this young man who had just finished A level in Singapore. A level is equivalent to grade 12 in India. He told me, Singapore, I do not want to go and waste my time in university. I have an idea about a software that I want to build. And I am going to start a company. To work that software and sell it because that software is for space projects. Two weeks back, I met him again. We asked him, You have this technology going on, how did you accomplish it? And he said, You know what? You didn't think it was going to work. Last week, Elon Musk announced something, and that actually is going to make use of all the ideas that I have. Do you know who Elon Musk is? Elon Musk is the typical poster boy of all the innovation in the world currently. He has got entrepreneurship in Spain. Uh, he was behind PayPal. He's talking about building interface between brain and technology. And so he says that this world tells me that I don't think it's going to work. What do you think? Is he speaking right? Why? Uh-huh. Excellent. Any other reason why he why you why he think he's right or he's wrong? He thinks that his venture is not going to work. I think there are three reasons. I did not I did not obviously agree with him. There are three reasons. One is he thought that his opportunities were limited. Number two, he felt that his abilities are limited. Number three, he thought he looked at Elon Musk as a competitor, but not as a collaborator. And that was enough for him to say that he didn't want to pursue that, pursue his dream. In today's youth, we can see and see many, many youth, a lot of youth. Who can say that I have my big dream and there is no limit to my dream? 
I can achieve anything. But then when they come and close an obstacle, they feel that I cannot do it. Why is that so? A cloud is the life of four C, C as in like a C in their life. Number one, coming up with ideas, creating ideas. The Google thought that Yahoo was there, the founder of Google thought that Yahoo is there, it's a search engine, it can take care of everything that we have in our mind. Google will not have thought. And today, look at their openness and where Yahoo is. And you can do the same, you can achieve the same target in all main ways. But our education system changed all of our minds to the same thing that we think that there is only one answer for a question, the right whole way of answer. There are different. So that's the power of having creativity or not having creativity. Number two, the confidence in your creativity. I have ideas. I'm not comparing my ideas with others. I have an idea and I I do believe in the potential of um, that idea or enhancing that idea or make it make it into another idea. Because an idea is not an idea if it doesn't have the potential to grow. That's so the number one thing is creativity. That's lacking unfortunately in all education systems because I work with all sorts of systems in the world. Number two is the that confidence. As yes, as I said before, having the confidence in their own idea. Number three is what I said about the last earlier. Looking at every person that we see on the street as competitors, but known as collaborators. That is very important. When I was young, I studied in India. I did until my engineering, I studied in India, and then I did my MBA in the US, and I worked in seven different countries, and I realized that what I learned is the whole happening with what I was working with. So, there's that collaborative power. Our grading system is actually the strong collaborative power. When I was young, if I got at least one mark more than my best friend, I was happy. She's my best friend, that's okay, but I need at least one mark more. What if she and I can bring together? That is collaboration. Both of us can bring together. And okay, so that was the first one. Create second one. Third collaboration. Excellent. So what could be the first C? How do how do you know about your idea? Communication. Excellent. It's not just communication, it's effective communication. You do not have time to sit on the city. But the better you say, it depends, it always depends on how you say and also what you say matters. So how, how do you do that communication? And if we can enrich our children with these four things, they are actually capable of moving to whichever level they want to. Because the era that is coming up is the era of change. Most studies prove that by the time the youth of today finish 15 years in their workforce, they will have changed 18 to 16 jobs. That's almost like one job every year, probably. It's actually the very young. It's about one at least one job a year. And we are just at the end of the big economy. Big economy means people do not like to work for long years on the same target or for the same effort. And so we are beginning to realize that. And they are also releasing people on short term basis for project 
So what's the advantage in my basic economy? That means you have to go there, you have to learn everything fast, you have to be in within the team, you have to deliver. And what is constant in that? It's change. And with change, you need to learn faster. And that is what the four things are going to give to our group of today. But our mind is still feeling different. A few months back, I was on a national radio in Singapore. It was a live program, a live interview. The moment I started talking about creativity, we started getting calls. And people are wondering, ask me, who are you listening to? You are talking about creativity. How are we going to create creativity? It's possible to create creativity, but what we know we should do is to change that grading, how we grade. Because we have been trained to look at everything as static. We look at mathematics, we see science, we see social studies or economics or anything, and then people say, art or creativity or innovation, we are trying to look at it as another subject. It's time to change that. But then our youth cannot wait for that. Changing the whole system needs time. So what we need and who are parents in this group? Excellent. Who are educators in this group? Very good. And others, have you seen children? Yeah, okay. So, together we can do a lot. We can do a lot of parents. We can do a lot of educators. We can do a lot and a lot as community members. Being there for the youth, being there for them, and bring out the four seeds in them because that's what brings the future for them. Thank you so much.